Hello there friends, welcome, I'm Mark Thomas. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Today is Maundy Thursday and we're almost at Easter. And today we're going to read a couple of verses from John's Gospel. But first let's light our candle as we typically do and have done so, um, well, this is the 38th day in Lent, so perhaps you've done it for 38 days uh, along with me. Uh, with the candle lit and the light and flame rising, Let's turn to these great Bible verses in John chapter 12. You've got your Bible, follow along uh, with me as we hear uh, these words of Jesus. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Jesus speaks those words as his death is imminent and they're deep and profound words and they capture two amazing truths I think about Jesus. Firstly you get the real sense that he felt real anguish as he faced the prospect of the cross. His humanity was not a deceptive appearance or a mere fancy as one fifth century scholar uh, once called it but rather it was something that was genuine flesh and bone and blood that hurt and stung and was painful at times. Yes, Jesus felt real anguish because of his real humanity. But secondly, what we get in these verses is the sense of Jesus' real and resolute love. Jesus was deeply troubled, troubled by the suffering that he was about to endure, but he also recognised that this was why he came. He came to redeem or save his people in love. John's Gospel talks about the hour of glory as being the cross. That was when Jesus was literally lifted up, uh, hoisted on a cross. But it's also when he was metaphorically lifted up as his saving love became evident and he draws people to himself. I think this aspect of Jesus' life experience uh, helps us uh, in lots of ways, of course, but not least today in his anguish as it calms our anxieties and his troubled soul liberates troubled souls. So it's Maundy Thursday and I'm looking forward to sharing communion with some of you later. A couple of, uh, a couple of months ago, well, probably last year, uh, our friend from church, Graham Oakes, kindly uh, produced this little booklet here called Easter Reflections. And today's prayer and meditation uh, is me reading Graham's uh, poem and thoughts on Maundy. And this is what Graham wrote. He chose to wash disciples' feet despite his majesty and showed them all the way of love, his holy destiny. Though tempted to refuse the cup, he knows its history. The chosen one has made his choice and drinks his destiny. The Prince of Peace is judged by hate, though reason would him free. This world will never let him rule and change its destiny. The servant king gives up his throne to grip a cruel tree. With hands held wide and crowned with thorns, he bore his destiny. My God, my saviour and my friend has suffered all for me. He calls me to leave all for him and share his destiny. Now may I live as if I've died, that all that I might be, and rise with him to live and love. This is my destiny. Thanks very much to Graham for that. If you want a copy of Graham's uh, Easter Reflections, I'm sure if you uh, contact him, he would be happy to, uh, to produce one and send one to you. We're going to pause to pray before we finish today. Let's pray. Our Saviour and our God, Jesus Christ, a man born of woman, but not in deceptive appearance or mere fancy, 
but rather by nature and in truth, possessing every human quality except for sin. Lord, you are the first fruits of a new humanity. In you our nature is restored to newness of life. As a man you felt hunger and weariness. As a man you felt the mental anguish of suffering. Yet you were not agitated like we often are. For the truth restored your courage. For you, the Son of God, were made one with your human nature in its entirety. So that you might save us whole. Give us courage today as we reflect upon all that you have done for us. Lord, we thank you that even though you suffered, your suffering is something that gives us great relief. We could not have been freed from dread or disaster or disappointment if you had not experienced something of dread. We could not have been delivered from grief or released from troubles had you not experienced grief yourself and been troubled and alarmed by the ways of this world. Indeed, with every affection to which we are afflicted, we find a corresponding affection in you. So now, if and when we feel overwhelmed, restore our courage with the truth of your word and comfort our hearts, for you are the word made flesh, our living Lord and loving Saviour. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I'm looking forward to uh, sharing with you later for our short Maundy Thursday service and I hope you're able to join us uh, either live on Zoom for that or perhaps have to catch up later uh, with a recording. In the meantime, have a great day. Do take care and God bless. <music>